What's going on YouTube? End of the week, almost end of the day. We've had a crazy, crazy week in the stock market. It went in a lot of ways way differently than I thought it was going to. Um, it basically just went up and pretty steady. So kind of reacting to how the the news about stimulus package would play out. Apparently 3.3 million people being unemployed was uh, less than expected. Um, even though it was like way above the, the all-time record. Apparently it was priced in already that it would be worse than that. So we didn't see a drop after that and kind of we're just sitting here wondering what's happening. Is this a bull trap? Is the market set to rebound? What, like where are we at here? Uh, I've made a number of moves myself personally um, in my portfolio. Um, one of which being picking up GDXJ, and I would like to pick up more. As you can see on the bottom of the screen, my account is restricted because I was actually assigned shares on a call spread that I put on. So I put on a few call spreads this week, expecting the market to kind of turn and head down toward the end of the day, um, toward the end of the week, rather, and it hasn't. So I kind of got beaten up there. I was assigned... Um, uh, call option on Sony and it's waiting to exercise the other side of it um, there's a big gap up here it was open it was at like 52 in the beginning of the week and it gapped up to 56 and I put a I put a call spread around 57 58 expecting it to go back down and it did not so I was assigned shares uh, if we pull up to my history here uh, call exercise is pending to buy 100 shares, and if I go back further, assignment. So I did a two, $2 spread. I was uh, sold 5500 or $55 assignment for Sony, so I sold 100 shares of that. And the markets have been kind of just wild, just doing some weird stuff um, this week relative to the past four weeks, because the past four weeks we've seen... 5% up, 5% down, 7% down, 13% down, 5% up, and then this week it's been like 2 or 3% each day and mostly up, um, except for Friday here where it's down quite a bit, but it's been very interesting. Not sure what to make of it at this point. I'm just kind of waiting. Um, I can't trade as it is, so maybe it's a good thing that I can't trade. I'm just having to play passively on the outside. Um, if we check into futures, they're probably just tracking the market right now. A little bit negative, 2.1, 2.5%. Um, big movers today, Carnival is down 10%. What else we got? Carnival down 10%. Um, Norwegian down 20%. So the cruise lines were, were hit. I sold off a lot of those. Um... Tilray's up. It's been up a lot this week, which is like so interesting. Um, I guess people are expecting marijuana stocks to take off while people have nothing to do. They're gonna be buying a bunch of a bunch of weed and be smoking it I'm, or or consuming it. I'm not sure what what that's about, but uh, Groupon is up for some reason. Real estate real estate had been hit pretty hard because a lot of companies came out saying they couldn't cover their margin. So they, uh, there's a few companies that were hit like 70, 80% through the week. Um, and interestingly, interestingly enough, after the stimulus package came out, they were doing fine. Um, there was no comment about uh, those companies being in trouble at that point. Um, I wanna see gold to silver ratio. I think I have to search it separate. Um, I still think gold and silver, there's good opportunity there. We will wait and see. Um, I think ratio is going to recover. That is not the gold to silver ratio. Don't pay attention to that. I think it's still in the 110s. 112, so still way above all-time high, which means if you buy silver... It should revert to the mean of about 60 or 70, and you should profit from that. 
I recently read an article about the mining stocks. Let me go here and see if I can find it. About how the mining stocks actually are not, they're going to be different this time, how they're not going to rebound um, along with gold and silver during a downturn, as they typically do. Um, because primarily the miners are being shut down because of corona and they're not they're not going to be able, able to operate in this market so if they can't operate operate they're going to have major losses and a lot of them don't have the capital to survive um, a scenario such as that so there may be much further lower to go on these um, but the that article which i think is from seeking alpha predicted that they would not be rocketing high as they typically do either way i'm in them i i believe in putting a portion of my portfolio in those stocks and making that call i also bought peloton because um, why not a lot of people at home they can't go to the gym what are you gonna do so i got that for about 25 that just ipo recently um i sold off like i said a lot of my cruise line stocks and i did actually sell four shares of tesla Believe it or not, I never said I would do that, but I'm thinking, got to thinking the market might turn, so maybe I'll just sell off a portion. I still have 10 there. Um, and also generating some liquidity for myself and my family in case we need it in this uh, in this time with lower income and, and unstable income and that sort of thing. So we're just kind of navigating this market, um, being patient and being stable and not getting too excited about the highs, like we said, not getting too too uh, fearful about the lows, and waiting for the opportunity to strike if it comes back up. Um, I'm assuming, yeah, bonds are high because the Fed kind of talked about buying them. So those are up 10% this week. Um, we have GameStop was up quite a bit at one point. 460 and in terms of other movers what am I looking at personally not too much I'm just kind of monitoring keeping track of many different names and tickers and trying to look for an opportunity and not be impatient and make a move just because I'm on board which it's part of it you know you got time on your hands now are you going to become an active trader a day trader or are you going to stick to what you know um, you can learn something, but this might not be the market to learn something completely new. Um, I would recommend waiting until kind of this volatility passes over, which I think we're still quite high. If we're still around 60, then not much has changed. Yeah, 63. It's actually up today, interesting, interestingly enough. Um, it did drop down earlier in the week. It's up, but the... The numbers themselves are kind of, I don't know, I realize VIX signals possible stock bottom. Yeah, I don't know. Some people calling that that was the bottom. Some people saying it was a bull trap. I don't know. How, how can we know? How can we know what's going to happen? You just have to be vigilant and be patient. But look at the six month. Obviously, we're in a high doesn't mean it can't go higher and doesn't mean that it's not over but I mean if you look at what's been done with stimulus I mean that's QE infinity right there people QE infinity so it begins um, we'll see how that plays out but that takes a long time to kind of work through the market the uh, money supply doesn't show up immediately obviously and stimulus package I don't know if it's been uh, passed yet if it's been actually submitted and, and that sort of thing but it, talking about giving uh, Americans free money as a form of stimulus I see that for maybe a, maybe a month or so so we'll kind of have to just play it by ear and be patient but that's all I got for you today not too exciting but we're kind of just waiting waiting and seeing and we'll check in on Monday. Go from there. Thanks for watching today. Hit the like button and leave a comment down below.